Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. The Galaxy S10 Ultra, the new tablet coming out soon. I should have said Tab S10 Ultra. Coming out again very, very soon, hopefully in July or August of 2024 is looking like it's going to get faster charging. Supposedly it's going to get 65 watt charging when it comes out. That's the latest rumor. Now is it gonna be fact checked? Yes, we don't know, but that's the latest rumors that it will get 65 watt fast charging. That is a pretty big deal. Why? Because that eventually you would expect would trickle down to Samsung's phones as well. Right now, the fastest you can charge on a Samsung phone is 45 watts. 65 watts would be a big oomph, a nice little oomph that would bring it in line with the OnePlus phones here in America. So we'll keep our eyes peeled on this one, but at least the Tab series, the high end anyway, is looking like it's going to get faster charging. Next up is the test server process. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Flip 6 are showing up on there for One UI 6.1.1, showing that they are testing those devices with that software, meaning that it's coming out for sure very, very soon. Again, it should be the July timeframe, should be announced and released in July. The release date might fall into the first week or two of August, but I really think it's gonna end up being the last week of July is when that phone gets released. And um, we've seen some things about it in terms of the changes over that phone versus the Z Fold 5. And it's not a huge difference, some of most of the things, but at least it's a little bit of a change with the wider display aspect ratio on the outside. So at least we have something like that to look forward to. The last story of the day, man. If you, woo, the Z Flip 6, we, we thought it was gonna be 12 gigs of RAM as the to definition of what those phones would have. That would be the the, le the the base level of RAM on there. And it looks like it's not. The latest benchmark scores that are coming out are showing only that there is eight gigabytes of RAM with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. It's getting a Vulcan score of 15,084. Uh, so a good score, but man, eight gigs of RAM. It's crazy that they're still doing that with this phone. So obviously they're gonna keep the price cheap with eight gigs of RAM. I can't imagine they're gonna raise that thing over a thousand bucks, maybe for higher storage amounts, but the lower storage amounts, the base version of it, eight gigs of RAM. And uh, I think it's a disappointment. What do you guys think about all of that? Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great weekend and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.